Warning, this game has elements of psychological horror. Is this yours? <laughs> oh no, it's spooky time! Hello, hello, hello everyone! Your Gibbs is back! I am here and we are playing live for the beautiful people on Twitch, YouTube, and also Periscope for, for reasons. The chat is telling me that this is the fifth maze game, and if you actually look in more games, uh, there are lots of great titles that are put out by this developer. Would love to hear your favorites. Yes, yes, this is my first recording slash live stream in a little while, so I am pleasantly happy to have all you folks with me today. We are getting lots of shining vibes. Ooh, I mean, ooh. Alright folks, so let's go ahead and get started, I guess. Bedtime story, scary story, terrifying myth, unspeakable horror, and pick my poison. Hmm. Choices, choices. Yes. Maze, there's actually... Uh, I actually have enjoyed most of the Maze games. My name is Sophie, and I'm on a camping trip with my longtime best friends. Say hi for the camera. Hi. Ah! This is Dario. He was the best dressed guy in our high school. And this is JP, our resident geek and horror expert. I think you meant horror master. So did you get your scary stories ready? Oh yeah. I have this one about a school that's haunted by the ghost of an old teacher and burns every night. That's nothing compared to the ruthless, invisible killer I'm gonna talk about. You'll all have goosebumps when you hear my story about the beast that lurks in the ice and snow. Stop! There are... What? What's the matter? Oh no, it's spooky! I spilt my drink all over my desk! I have my own horror story happening here right now. Halo, Halo, I see you there. We are going to go, ooh, interesting. So let's see here. Uh, explain every aspect of the game. Ugh. Uh, no, I think we're good. Explain the only special features. Yeah, seriously, I made a huge mess. But it's all part of the fun. Okay, we're in this to win this. Haunted water bottle, right? That thing like leaped out of my hands. A ghost must have got me. <laughs> Boo. So we're in this cool van and I, what are we, 60s, 70s? What is this? This is kind of an interesting driving scene, isn't this? Um, hmm. Spooky shag carpeting, right? Is that, what is, is that a teddy bear over there? Whoa, everything keeps popping up, cool, cool. What exactly does she want me to do? Nancy, my, my, oh my, Nancy, holy schmoles. 30 months, my goodness, Nancy, that is so generous of you. Thank you so much for the years. I think we can measure that in years now, Nancy. I saw something on the road just now. Hi, Black Omen, I see you over there on YouTube. Hi, hi. Look at the post poster. We saw s s spooky Sophie, children. There's nothing there. I was I was looking the whole time. There's nothing. This guy is not even looking up. Okay, no, we're good. I have proof. I recorded it on my camera. So I take it we're Sophie, right? Show the camera footage. The Meg, how are you doing over there? And Boyd is here as well. And Raven and all sorts of crazy people. Thank you for dropping by. Look at these trio here of friends. 
What is all this all about? I love how modern cars have power outlets. I see. That is quite the creepy poster. My favorite horror franchise. The newest ones will be awesome. You know what, Brandon? I'm happy to be back. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I am super duper rusty, and I do appreciate your patience. It does remind me of the Scooby-Doo thing, doesn't it? Peace out! We need to recharge the camera. Well, Moco Flix, I appreciate that I was missed. I miss you guys too. So we're looking for morphs and another collectible. Okay, I, I, I know you're empty, you got it. You got surgery three days ago, yikes. Uh, this is totally the mystery machine, boys, totally. You know, I was watching Supernatural and I watched the Scooby-Doo episode again. That's a good one. Uh, Mr. Green Giant, thank you so much for the follow. And Pavel, thank you for the follow before. Thank you. Wow, these guys are quite the adventurers. Teddy bear. It's a teddy bear Christmas. You haven't seen Supernatural in forever? Yeah, I, I, you know, Netflix and chill right now pretty much, right? Uh, let's see here. Morphing objects. Each scene has one morphing item. It's a bonus challenge. Gotta collect them. So this reminds me of Forbes, of course. If you are seeing the collectibles, please shout them out in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm still Meg. I'm still a huge fan of the first few seasons of Supernatural, more so than the latter, but it's all good. Rusty is okay. Well, I appreciate that, Shay. Thank you. Oh, I see. Every scene contains hidden collectible. Find them all. All, all, all. Yeah, I like the early seasons where they were like, every uh, episode was like a, you know, new monster or whatever, but, you know, they evolved, obviously. Okay, so we gotta charge it up. Like Buffy more, did you? Yeah, Buffy's good too. You had surgery. Your mother had back While surgery. we're waiting for you your camera goodness. to charge, let's keep telling our stories. Yes, let's talk about stories. Ooh. You're this is the story of the mysterious ghost of an old teacher named Abigail who sets her school on fire every night. All she needs is a lit candle. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Sets school on fire every night? Wow. The story is about a killer who is invisible in any light because he comes from a different reality and his mission is only to kill. Okay, so we need to get the light, do we? Your niece is one year old. Wow. There was once an abandoned polar station that wasn't shown on any map where a monstrous evil lurked in the darkness. It's time for a map. Whoa! Okay, that one got me. That jump scare got me. Yeah. The camera must be charged now. Nemo Gothic, happy early birthday. Okay, what's with the creepy children? that okay I'm starting to get the chills yep you better go check uh, ladies first I mean men first what are kids doing in the middle of the road right humans are mere puppets to us
This school must burn. The school must burn. Ghost from Dario's story burning the school? This is impossible. The temperature in the boiler room is rising. I repeat, the temperature in the boiler room is rising. It will soon explode. That doesn't sound like a good place to be then. <laughs> I think there's a, you know, a scale of scary, creepy jump scare. I don't think they're all equal, to your point. Uh, Historian. Prevent the boiler from exploding! Like, I always consider it creepy so far. Oh my goodness, what's this little dolly here? Yeah, jump scares are definitely part of the fun. It's a creepy game, Mr. Green? Got it. A Gemini symbol. I don't like this at all. Like, the music's definitely creepy. What is going on in here? What's all this jam stain here? I feel like they made like a jam sandwich in here. Tanya, how are you doing? Now, boy, that is a great question. Will this game have a crowbar? That is the million dollar question. Yeah, seriously, someone made a jam sandwich here. So it looks like we're gonna need a code. Because I have no idea what the code is. It looks yummy, right? Crowbars for days. I would say, like, Lexi, like, the early uh, Mr. K's files definitely had that creep factor. It's missing the other emergency symbol. Sophie, you went on a school trip? It had a sink like that? Yikes. What is going on with this doll? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, it's watching me. Ah. Godmother's coming to visit tomorrow? That's nice. Evil doll is evil. Ooh, it's a code. Everyone loves jam, right? I've been a janitor here for many years, but strange things have happened recently. I've seen objects move even completely disappear. The other day, I saw a dark shape in the atrium pipe. It was waving, beckoning me. To join it in the pipe, the shape won't go away. I need to pack up and leave. This place is cursed. All right, folks, so these numbers are going to be helpful. 210682. Oh, okay, she's gonna take it. Never mind. Yeah, Bear Bun, I'm, I'm with you. Ravenhurst, Dire Grove. Oh, those are the original gangsters of Opa games. I agree with you. Yeah, I don't know. Dolls tend to be creepy, aren't they? I don't know what it is. So I gotta spin this right around, baby. There's definitely a doll horror trope, right? What is it, Annabelle? Is that the series nowadays with the doll in it? Annabelle? Ooh, it's a doll hand. Dolls and clowns. Ah! What the hell? Dolls and clowns, right? Totally. Honestly, Alvin, I never played Black Crown in Mr. Case Files. It's been a little while. I haven't had uh, been keeping up to date here. Okay, looks like we have a hidden object scene. What is this stuff dripping from the ceiling? Let's get a little quiet in here. My goodness. All right, folks, good old hidden object scene. Let's get clicking here. 
looks like we do have a morphing object in this scene. You can't stop watching Nancy Drew videos? My goodness, those are uh, aging, I guess. <laughs> they are aging. What am I doing here? What's the zoom in business? Oh, I see. A bone, headphones, and an arm. 